When you sin against God's word or Sharia, then you are uprooted from there and made to leave that Jannah. So, because when you find the word mentioned, Adam sinned, in fact, he was forgiven. The Holy Quran says there and then, with Lamna Jidlahu Azma, we didn't find in him the will to, to, to commit crime, to do sin. So we forgave him. So after forgiveness, why was he turned out? This is the question. The answer is that people mis erroneously think that Adam was the first man. He was not the first man. He was the first prophet of God who reached perfection, perfection in his manhood because you need a sort of perfection of your manhood before God appoints you as prophet. So he's the first man who rose to that degree of perfection. So nafkur ruh par qawlahu sajideen follows the per, uh, human perfection in the first stage. And Adam was the first man who reached that stage of perfection where he was worthy of recipi to be recipient of the word of God. So God says, don't obey him just because he's a very good man, an ex excellent person, a perfect man, until I breathe into him until I reveal to him my word, he is not to be followed. And that is the making of the prophet we see. But apart from that, people do not read the Quran with proper care. First of all, two people are mentioned only, Adam and Eve. And when they commit that sin, because the Satan, uh, you know, deceived them and they, they were duped by Satan. You know what happens? When they are turned out of Jannah, the Holy Quran does not say, Ehbetwa min ha jamiya. Ehbetu min ha jamiya. Why two are mentioned as Ehbetu? <laughs> Obviously, although their sins were mentioned, but those who followed Adam, they also committed sins of the same nature or more, much more. And they didn't seek forgiveness of Allah, so they were not forgiven. And wherever the people go, their leader also has to follow them. In that sense, that his fate cannot be separated from the fate of the people who follow. Like Moses, he was denied entry into the promised land, not because he was punished by God, because his followers were punished. So it is exactly the same case with Adam. He was turned out of that Jannah of peace. The word peace means the word of God and you follow it and then you become peaceful. And when that peace was violated by his followers, then God said, all right, from now on there is no peace for you. Go to do whatever you like. No peace can return to you until you return to the word of God. Now, the Holy Quran very clearly supports this view in another verse and in some other verses. The Holy Quran tells us that, O oh mankind, beware. Don't behave in a manner that the Satan should make you slip like he made Adam slipped and he was turned out of Jannah. So how can we be turned out of Jannah when we are not in Jannah, we are here on earth? <laughs> Such a beautiful explanation, <laughs> very clear explanation. Because the Jannah we are talking is the word of God. You can become a word of God by following the word of God. But if you violate it, then there is every time a prophet comes, there is a risk of Satan again misleading you and deceiving you and making you 
being turned out of Jannah. Whatever is left after this to doubt about the meaning of Jannah which I have just presented. And it is again mentioned in relation to the Prophet afterwards, in relation to Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Oh Bani Adam, don't make the same mistake. Otherwise, once turned out, how can we turned out again? Why the warning? Don't let Satan mislead you, who by misleading turned out your parents, your forefathers. How could we incur any danger from Satan if we are already out of Jannah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, yes. this is the point.